Right now, I'm at my very first range date. I heard this day will be turned into a video, and I was shaking fearfully. I'm stiff with nerves. I want you to think you're helping me out, and please leave a thumbs up before you go. Let's see, my name is Kyohei Muranishi. Up until now, all I ever did was study and read. I'm the definition of indoorsy. How to have a successful arranged date? I was regretting not reading books like that. Uh, wh what are your ho hobbies? I threw in the worst question that a hobbyless person like me could ask. My arranged date was with Konoka Taniguchi, a reserved woman with glasses. I couldn't even lie and say that a super beauty had come. But that's why, from the bottom of my heart, I was relieved. Uh, reading and stuff. What? Reading? Me, me too! Huh? Coincidentally, we realized we had the same hobby and made plans to go bookstore hopping next time. The date ended smoothly. On a later day, we headed to the bookstore and the shopping mall as promised. But, we were facing the worst situation. Well, if it isn't Muranishi! Hey, hey, is that your woman? She's playing basic. You're done. <laughs> Stop it. Kaudate-san was my senpai at work. For some reason, he sees me as an enemy, and I didn't like him very much. I ran into the worst possible person. I wonder if Konoka-san is okay. I faced Kaudate-san as if to hide Konoka-san behind me. Heh, <laughs> that woman. I'm not going to try to take her, so you don't have to hide her. You NPCs enjoy yourselves! See ya! With that, Kaudate-san left. Konoka-san, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yes, I'm sorry, Kyohei-san. You were embarrassed because of me. No way! You did nothing wrong, so don't worry about it. Konoka-san, she probably feels really hurt. She may not stand out. Still, the eyes that peer through her glasses are beautiful, and her skin is beautiful too. Above all else, she's a reserved and attentive woman. Without knowing those things, how could Kaudate-san say such terrible things? I was not calm on the inside. Kaudate means face only, but that should be nothing more than a name. I threw out some insults internally, reset my feelings, and decided to enjoy the bookstore date with Konoka-san. Now let's go back in time a little, and let me tell you how I ended up going on a date with Konoka-san in the first place. There was a client of mine that was good to me. One day, he brought up the idea of this date to me. Muranishikud, to be honest, there's a girl I want you to meet. It's my niece. It seems she has no interest in love. Her father and my younger brother is worried. I feel like I could leave her in your hands. Would you meet her once? Honestly, at first, I was not on board. Still, I owed him for being good to me, and I decided to accept this offer. I understand. If it's okay with you, I'll accept. Oh, really? Thank you, Muranishikun. If someone like you is going to go on a date with her, I'm all for it. The CEO had my back, but even though I recognized my work abilities, I'm just as clueless about love as Konoka-san is. I've never even had a girlfriend. <laughs> uh, well, I'm that kind of guy, so I was thankful that Konoka-san was as reserved as she was. If she was really forward, I might have gotten cold feet. With this and that, I had my arranged meeting with Konoka-san, and today, I'm on a date like this. This love koi manga is really good. There's a new one out, so I wanted to get it. Konoka-san looks happy. I'm glad. I wonder if she's having fun. I saw Konoka-san's happy face when she had a book in hand, and I thought she was cute. After that, we recommended books to each other and stayed at bookstore for about two hours. At this time, we had broken the ice quite a bit, and I had a good impression of Konoka-san. After leaving the bookstore, we were walking around talking about what to do next when Konoka-san stopped in her tracks. Konoka-san, what's wrong? Uh, are you tired? 
we can go somewhere and rest. No, that's not it. She denied it, but wouldn't move. It was in front of the arcade, so it was loud and hard to have a conversation. Let's change locations. Can you walk a bit more? Mm. Huh? You can even take one more step? Are you tired? No, I'm very excited. X? Uh, why? I thought she was gonna sing a strange song, and she slowly touches my hand. Huh? She didn't slap my hand away, but she softly removed it from hers. The damage was greater than having it slapped away. I was thinking I'd rather have it slapped away when... Konoka-san turns her body toward the arcade. The arcade is calling me! What? 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 Unbelievably, Konoka-san sprints into the arcade. I was confused by the sudden out-of-pocket movements. I felt like I wouldn't be able to find Konoka-san if I lost her in the arcade. So, I hurriedly chased after her. Wait, wait, Konoka-san! Uh, wait! Just when I thought she stopped running, Konoka-san sits down at a famous game without a word. I love my Mio Kite! Oh, I... I see. Apparently, this is a game where the characters race cars and throw marimos at each other. The attack items are all Marimos, and the characters are also Marimos. It's a very strange game. Would you like to play Kyohei-san? What? I've never played this before. It's okay, it's okay. Games are meant to be enjoyed. Konoka-san urged me and I sat down at an empty station. I was fumbling with the unfamiliar screen when I had my picture taken. What? What is this? Konoko-san, it took a picture without my consent! Yeah, that's how it works. They will use it for anything, so don't worry. With that, Konoko-san peers over at my game screen. <laughs> Kill Hei-san's face! Marimo! <laughs> what? Everyone turns into a Marimo, right? <laughs> my first time as a 30-year-old. How embarrassing! I was shaking with fear. But Konoka-san is laughing happily, so it's okay. Uh, yeah. It's okay? Okay! Then let's effin' step on it! What's with the sudden street talk? Look! Kyohei-san! It's gonna start! Oh, okay. With no idea what I was doing, I grabbed the wheel and looked at the screen. If it's a car race, it's the same as driving, right? I was nervous as the game started. When the game starts, Konoka-san and the other players zoom off at incredible speeds. Whoa! You can go that fast? Uh, okay, me too! I stepped on the accelerator and went off too. During the race, there were question boxes, and if you bump them, an item came out. I have some kind of Marimo! What do I do with this? Suddenly, a Marimo-shaped bomb-like thing appeared in my hands. I was pretty sure you were supposed to attack someone with this, but unfortunately, there was no one around me. I was some laps behind. Many times, I saw Konoka-san pass me at flying speeds. And I finished my drive still holding the Marimo that I picked up in the beginning. Yes, it was a very Marimo drive. After I finished the game, I was drained. Then that was some very safe driving. Thanks for making me feel better. We were going back and forth like this when the girl next to Konoka talked to us. Um, you're very good at this. I was shocked. What? Then thank you very much. The woman whose eyes sparkled as she talked to Konoka-san was very cute. Apparently, her name is Karina. She's a university student working as a VTuber. She does video game commentary and was moved by Konoka-san's game skills. Um, is it okay? Would you be my friend? What? But I'm plain and to 
to be friends with a cute girl like you. That's not true. Plus, looks don't matter in friendship. Huh? With that, Karina gives a carefree laugh. Konoka was hesitant, but she listened to Karina's words. She smiled shyly and squeezed the hand that was held out to her. I if it's okay with you, um, let's be friends. The boyfriend, too. Let's play together sometime, okay? What? Bo boyfriend? Uh, well, I'm still a beginner, so... Kyohei-san, was it not fun? Konoka-san gazed at me with a sad expression. Oh, she, she's so cute. No, it was fun. Let's play again sometime. After that, we split from Karina and played at the arcade for a while. Then, we decided it was time to go, and we're on the way home. I'm sorry for dragging you along today, Kyohei-san. Don't apologize. I had fun too. But you had said that you don't really play games. That's true. I was an uninteresting person who only studied or read books. You're not uninteresting. You know a lot of things and it's fun to talk to you. Also, I work at a bookstore, so... Your love for books is very attractive to me. People who read books know a lot of different worlds and have a broader view of things that are cool. Konoka-san gazed at me passionately and told me that I was attractive. I felt like my heart was being grabbed, like the back of my nose was stinging a little. Oh, I'm so sorry. I sounded condescending. Konoka-san suddenly got shy as if she remembered who she was. I wanted to tell her too. Konoka-san, thank you very much. This is the first time someone has said something like that to me. Konoka-san likes books and likes games too. You appreciate many different things in that way. You hold those things close and live your life. I thought that Konoka-san was very lovely. I sound like a poet or something. I'm a little embarrassed. Now I'm very happy. Kyohei-san's words. I'm going to write them in my journal when I get back. Uh, don't, don't do that. Why? I thought I'd make a Kyohei notebook. Is that like a death note or what? No way! I'm gonna write Kyohei-san's poetic words and phrases I like. It's a notebook that will make me happy. That's right. The name will be... The Happy Journal. <laughs> Amazing! Please don't. That's embarrassing. Aww, I'm disappointed. You should leave those words in your heart. <gasps> leave those words in your heart. Don't repeat it. Like this, our first date ended. It was a very eventful day, but it was really fun. I wanted to go out together again. Hello, I'm Konoka. Today is a week after I enjoyed my date with Kyohei-san. I'm headed to a certain place. I is this it? I'm nervous because it's a stylish place. I put my hand on the stylish cafe door and mustered up the courage to open it. Welcome! Oh, it's Konoka-chan! Oh, hello, Karina-chan. Yes, today I've come to Karina's part-time job at this cafe. I wanted to see Karina, and another thing, I wanted to ask her for something. Come in, sit wherever you'd like. Okay, these are pancakes, number one recommended by Karina. Wow, looks yummy. I've never had such cute food like this. Oh, so, so cute. <laughs> Terrifyingly so. Well, take your time. Oh, uh, I felt bad to do so during work, but I was hypnotized by the cute Karina and pancakes. C can I be c c cute like you? Kyohei-san told me that I'm lovely, even when I'm like this. It's not like I doubt his words. I want to become cuter, so Kyohei-san will like me. Karina-chan, even a person like me, can I do it? How shameful. My hands are shaking. This is the first time I've ever thought or said these things. I became friends with the cute Karina, and I fell in love with Kyohei-san. These were first-time feelings. 
Konoka-chan, you absolutely can, because you're already this cute. You can definitely become cuter. I'll do anything I can to help, so let's work hard together. Karina-chan, thank you. I'm glad I talked to Karina-chan. I decided in my heart to work hard from today to be someone worthy of Kyohei-san. After that, I had Karina teach me about style and change my hair. It was strange. The more that I took care of myself, the more confidence I had in myself. I stopped pulling all nighters to play games, and I slept properly at night. I had Karina work out by my side and worked hard to get into shape. I felt like I could do anything if I thought about Kyohei-san. I spent every day with the goal of getting prettier, getting cuter, and confessing to Kyohei-san. Konoka-san and I had been going on dates once a month since our first date. Today was our eighth date. We could only meet once a month, but each time, it was fun to spend time together. Konoka-san, she's late. Konoka didn't arrive even though it was past our meeting time. This was a first. Sorry I kept you waiting, Kyohei-san. I heard the voice of Konoka rushing towards me and raised my head. What? I had noticed that Konoka was getting cuter with every date. But even then, I was surprised by Konoka's cuteness today. Her glasses were gone, and her hair was down. Her feminine skirt was also not typical of her. I'm sorry, Kyohei-san. I couldn't get my contacts in. And I was entranced by her. Oh, uh, no, no worries. I just got here too, so... Kyohei-san, please let me say this before a date. I... I like you, Kyohei-san! Ko... Konoka-san... I wanted to become a woman fit to be with Kyohei-san. I had Karina-chan help me out and... I took care of myself, and I even practiced makeup and putting in contacts. You've always told me I was lovely, but... I wanted to be a partner that Kyohei-san could show off and... What... do you think? I was so happy that Konoka worked hard for my sake. And without thinking, I hugged her. Konoka-san, you're so cute. But don't forget, I thought you were cute since we first met. k kyohei san The Konoka that patiently taught me how to play games since I'd never played before. The Konoka that showed me a world that I didn't know. I love that Konoka. Will you marry me? No, no way! Are you serious? I am. I was thinking about proposing when I got better at video games. What? You don't have to do that, oh you... Because if we're going to be together, I thought it would be more fun for you if I could play. Oh my... Just you being there is enough. That goes both ways. If you get too cute, I'll actually be more worried. In this way, some months after the arranged date, we were set to be married. One year after the proposal, we were finally approaching the day of the wedding. The ceremony was held with just family, and we invited co-workers and friends to the reception. At my company's table, there was Kaudate-san. It couldn't be helped since he was in the same department, but I still was not happy about inviting him. I never forgot that he made fun of Konoka. I never forgave him either. I imagined him sitting proudly with an attitude, and I was down about it. Meanwhile, at the reception hall... Hey, hey, you! You the bride's friend? You're super cute! Who are you? I'm surprised a plain and unattractive girl like her has a cute friend like you. Oh, you're that guy. I heard from Kyohei-san. Your name really says it all. What? I have a super nice lover with a beautiful voice, so I have no interest in you. What? And Konoka is the cutest person in the world. Do you have eyes? She can make the effort for the person she likes and is she's very loyal. I guess you don't understand Konoka's charm. Hey, why don't you sit down? The stars are about to enter. We had no idea about this conversation, and it was time to make an entrance. We entered, showered with beautiful music and applause. I felt like the tightness in my chest was loosening. 
Konoka, you're beautiful! The CEO who had brought us together was shouting with tears rolling down his face. Oh, my... my uncle! <laughs> you're beautiful, so it can't be helped. You, you too? Stop it, I'm embarrassed. What? Wait, Maranishi! Who... who is that beautiful woman? When we try to pass the company table, Kaudate raised his voice. Huh? Who? You met her before, didn't you? No, no way! She can't be the girl from that day! That introverted, plain girl! That's me! What? Hey, you! What's going on? I heard you said some things to my niece. Mr. T Taniguchi, why are you here? Why? Because I'm Konoka's uncle. I didn't know a guy like you worked at this company. With this important client's anger, the blood drained from my company members' faces. Thanks to me, the only one who received some kind of punishment from the client was Kaudate. After that, Kaudate got it handed to him by our manager, and he was shriveled up during our whole reception. Then, soon after, Kaudate was sent to the countryside for insulting a client. I wanted to make him apologize to Konoka, but I guess I wouldn't want him to see my lovely Konoka anyway. Konoka! You look beautiful! Congrats! Karina-chan! It's all thanks to you! Thank you truly! Can we stay best friends forever? Of course! Oh, Konoka! You're so cute! I love you! Karina-chan, Konoka is mine, all right? Whoa, what's that? Konoka, you should write that down in your Kyohei book. What? Wait, you made the Kyohei book? <laughs> it's a secret. Wait, you two. Hey, don't run away. Like this, we were celebrated by many people and had a happy wedding. Konoka and Karina became best friends and she comes to see Konoka often after the wedding. Come to her wedding next time! We heard these love stories about her boyfriend more often. The laughter never ceased. And we play video games every day in our new home. Kyohei-kun, you've gotten better! I'm a long way from winning, though. I'm just happy you're enjoying this with me. Kyohei-kun, I love you. Konoka was unwavering about the things she loved, from now on, I want to see many more new worlds by her side. If I'm with Konoka, I'm sure worlds as fun as gaming are out there waiting for me.